how to wire a new residential construction. Hey guys, Andrew here from Conqueror Electrical. I'm just showing you a little bit of drama. What happened here was a uh, snowplow hit this 600 amp three phase 122.8 service. Cleaned it right off up by the transformers. So the local power provider had to come in and put a new pole next to it. And they're gonna swing that transformer bank over. And we had to come in with our bucket truck the other day and slap up a, a new uh, service. <coughs> and we're permitted by our service provider that we're gonna dig a hole here. We've done that with our machine. And we're gonna set a URD box or an underground junction box there. I see we just hit pipe, perfect. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And that supplies this uh, local coffee shop, which I can't show you the picture of. Yeah, it show, supplies this local coffee shop. So we're doing a scheduled shutdown on Sunday and there's gonna be a lot of cranky people without coffee. So that's why we're getting this done. Um, to get it sorted. So here's our URD box in place, underground uh, service box. It's made of concrete, and it's uh, what was recommended by our power company. So we've just put that in flush with the ground, and then we're gonna do our backfilling on this side. So on Sunday when we come back, uh, those two broken service pipes are gonna be removed, and we're gonna do a junction up inside of that URD box from those two new pipes that we put in which will be, again, 600 amp, three phase. And here's my boys sorting through the mess of wires. We're just getting ready to do the splices up, making sure the phases are correct. So we have two four inch pipes coming in and coming out. Uh, there's eight wires all together. So there's actually eight splices. 16 wires if you count the ones going out. So here we are back on our uh, job. And we got the line crew 